What's up you guys? This is Adam Gillespie with Rancid and Sweaty Calves coming at you with yet another video. And in this one I'll be covering that wonderful headline that's been going around recently of Dungeons and Dragons movie creatives intentionally emasculating its leading men. Now I have a hard time sympathizing for anyone involved in this project if it does flop because they all agreed to be a part of it. So it really doesn't bother me that they're shooting themselves in the foot. Not to mention, I'm not a big Dungeons & Dragons fan. I only know about it in the lightest, smallest amount of knowledge possible in the fact that I know that there's a medieval fantasy adventure story that goes on, and you have complete freedom to create your own stories just so long as you use the mechanics that work within the realms and the bounds of the game. But I'll go ahead and run down here. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves writing team John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein revealed they intentionally emasculated the film's leading men, though not for wokeness. While speaking with Variety, Daly and Goldstein discussed how Michelle Rodriguez as Holga the Barbarian and Sophia Lillis Sophia Lillis's Doric the Druid tend to engage in the front lines of battle compared to their male party members. That was not an attempt on wokeness on our part, Goldstein said. Daly elaborated, saying, Swear to God, it wasn't. We like that Holga is the bruiser and does the dirty work for Edgin, and he doesn't like to get his hands dirty. We also love emasculating leading men. After reiterating that the reasons did not pertain to woke thinking, the pair explained that they wrote the men that way because they find it funny and fresh, pointing to Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman's character Date Night, which Daly and Goldstein also wrote. They also aimed to do something similar with Tom Holland's Peter Parker and Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark and Spider-Man Homecoming. We like our male heroes to be challenged and not simply heroic, Goldstein explained. Ooh, okay, so let's go ahead and unpack that real quick. Now, this is coming from CBR, so CBR is obviously going to see this as a positive thing, seeing as how it's a leftist outlet. And leftists tend not to think that their politics are political, but it is political. Because the emasculating of men has been going on on one side of the political aisle to an extreme degree, continuously, over and over again, as long as I can remember. Not to mention there's been a masculization of men in every media and every format since I've been born and even further back than that. And it's only gotten more and more prominent, so I don't exactly know why it is that these writers claim it to be funny and fresh if it's something that's been going on for literally decades. And yes, that is a literal and proper use of the word literally there, because it has been going on for quite literally decades. Men have been emasculated and treated like little dogs in the movies and the TV shows and video games as long as I can remember. And it's gotten to the point now where they have to come up with some sort of bullcrap excuse why it is they're doing it that isn't politically motivated because everyone in their right mind knows it is politically motivated. Now I'll say again, I don't know much about Dungeons and Dragons nor do I care about Dungeons and Dragons, and this gives me even less reason to care about Dungeons and Dragons because here it is, we're emasculating the leading male character of our story, and we're telling you about it, and we're telling you that we love to make men look like little wimpy B-words. We love to make men look like little shrimpy, skimpy, wimpy pieces of garbage who can't do anything because we find it funny and fresh. Because we got emasculated ourselves by our wives. And Tyrone is raising our kids, as Young Ripa 59 says. Yeah, this is stupid. Even if it's not political, come up with a better writing tactic. Make a more interesting story than just saying, oh yeah, we're going to do the same thing that everyone else in our position for the purpose of comedy has done for decades and decades. Do something that's actually funny and fresh. Come up with character-related comedy that actually works based off of what the characters are doing, not just fart jokes. <laughs> We're going to make fun of this guy because he has a small penis. <laughs>
Hollywood creatives have no creative integrity and don't know what creativity is if it smacked them in the face. Those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below, comment your thoughts, share this video out there with your friends, and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss a single video that I upload. Also, make sure to check me out on all my different socials. I leave links to those in the description below. I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week.